Hello guys, you are watching the channel Learn to Earn for Life. In this video, I will discuss the phase shift of symmetrical components in a star delta transformer bank. The phase shift that occurs to the symmetrical components while passing from primary winding to the secondary winding of a three phase transformer or a bank of three single phase transformers connected to form a three phase transformer. Let us refresh with the concept of phase shift in a single phase transformer. The phase shift that is occurring between the primary and secondary currents or voltages is dependent on the primary and secondary winding connections. The polarity of the windings determines the phase shift. Let us proceed to understand the concept of phase shift in a three phase transformer. The various transformer winding configurations are delta delta, star star, star delta, delta star configuration. The windings of delta delta or star star transformers are so connected that the phase shift between the voltages and currents will be either 0 degree or 180 degree. For delta star or star delta transformer the winding connections is made so that the phase shift between the windings of primary and secondary is n into 30 degree. Here n is a whole number or our number. Many years ago in the absence of standards the transformers were manufactured such that with different winding connections to get the different phase shifts. However, in 1988 ANSI the American National Standards Institute established the standards for the winding connections. Here ANSI states that the while manufacturing the transformers the high voltage side will lead the low voltage side by 30 degree in star delta or delta star transformers. The HV terminals are marked as H1, H2, H3 and the LV terminals are marked as X1, X2 and X3. The HV side phases are designated as A, B, C capital letters and the LV side phases are designated as small a, b, c. The windings shown are in parallel to each other are magnetically coupled. The an winding on star side is magnetically coupled with the winding a, b on the delta side. The location of dots on the windings indicates that v a n is always in phase with VAB regardless of the phase sequence. Henceforth, for the sake of simplicity, VAN is referred as VA, VBN is referred as VB, VCN is referred as VC. In positive sequence set of line to neutral voltages with phase sequence ABC, VB1 lacks VA1 by 120 degree, VC1 lags VA1 by 240 degree. In negative sequence set of line to neutral voltages with phase sequence ACB, VB2 leads VA2 by 120 degree and VC2 leads VA2 by 240 degree. According to the ANSI standards for designating the terminals, the voltage at H1 will lead the voltage at X1 by 30 degree. Similarly, the voltage at H2 will lead the voltage at X2 by 30 degree as well as the voltage at H3 will lead the voltage at X3 by 30 degree. Let us go through the phasor diagrams which will prove that the phase shift is achieved in a star delta transformer. The positive sequence phasors are shown in figure here. It is very simple to draw these phase diagrams. Here by the help of dot convention we know that VA1 and VAB1 are in phase. On the HV side, VB1 lags VA1 by 120 degree. VA1, VB1 and VC1 will meet at the tip of their arrows. Line to line voltages can then be drawn. For the LV side, VBC1 and VCA1 can be drawn in phase with VB1 
and VC1 respectively. Then the line to neutral voltages as follows. We can see that the VA1 that is the positive sequence voltage at H1 leads VA1 by 30 degree. That is the positive sequence line voltages at the star side or the HV side leads the corresponding voltages at the delta side or the LV side by 30 degree. This is according to the ANSI standards. The negative sequence voltage phasors are also can be drawn easily. To draw the negative sequence phasors with the help of dot convention, VA2 is in phase with VAB2. After drawing this, we will follow the entire procedure just like the positive sequence phasors drawn earlier. But keeping in mind that VB2 leads VA2 by 120 degree and VC2 leads VA2 by 240 degree. Finally, by the completed diagram, it can be observed that VA2, that is the negative sequence voltage at H1, will lag the VA2, that is the negative sequence voltage at X1 by 30 degree. Hence, it is proved that the negative sequence line voltages at the star side or the HV side lacks the corresponding voltages at the delta side or LV side by 30 degree. If N1 and N2 are the number of turns on the HV side and LV side respectively of any phase, we will get VA1 leads VA1 by 30 degree, VA2 lacks VA2 by 30 degree. This is the explanation of the phase shift of a symmetrical components in a star delta transformer bank or a three phase transformer thank you for watching the video